Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Actions on Google let you bring your services to the Google Assistant. Your integrations can help you engage users through Google Home today and in the future through Pixel, Allo, and many other experiences where the Google Assistant will be available. To learn more about this awesome new platform, use the link in the description below. We're wrapping up our annual Global Playtime series of events where we met with app and game developers from around the world to discuss how to build successful businesses on Google Play, share experiences, give feedback, collaborate, and get inspired. Don't worry if you missed it, you can now watch some of the best Playtime sessions on our Android Developers YouTube channel. Highlights include a great session on sustainable growth and how you can use augmented reality to create innovative, immersive experiences for your users, all linked below. Firebase Crash Reporting is now fully released with many new features and enhancements to help you better diagnose and respond to crashes that affect the users of your iOS and Android mobile apps, including issue resolution, improved reporting latency, and email alerts. For more info and screenshots, check out the post. One of the main challenges in exploring data being interpreted by ML models is that it often has hundreds or even thousands of dimensions, requiring special tools to investigate the space. To enable a more intuitive exploration process, we are open sourcing a web application for interactive visualization and analysis of high dimensional data called the Embedding Projector. Check out the post for some cool animations of it in action. DeepMind has invested considerable effort toward building rich simulated environments that serve as laboratories for AI research. They just open sourced their flagship platform, DeepMind Lab, which is a fully 3D game-like platform tailored for agent-based AI research. For the paper and the GitHub link, click on through to the post linked below. Remember the No-Nonsense Guide to Native Ads? It contains guiding design principles that help you better implement native ads, practical tips and best practices and examples for implementing native ads, how to set up a proper A-B test to begin testing native ads, and more. Oh, and now it's available in Spanish and Japanese as well. To download your copy, click on through to the post. Did you know that 22% more mobile shoppers visited retailers via Google in the January after the holiday season than in the October before? For more fun facts and optimization tips for key traffic driving categories in January, check out the post. This week, we announced the beta release of the new Google Cloud client libraries for four of our cloud services, BigQuery, Google Cloud Data Store, StackDriver Logging, and Google Cloud Storage. These client libraries are well-documented, easy to access, and cover seven server-side languages, c -sharp, Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Python, and Ruby. We also recently announced the general availability of regional managed instance groups in Google Compute Engine. This release offers a fully managed service for creating highly available applications. Simply specify the region in which to run your application, and Compute Engine automatically balances your machines across independent zones within the region. For more information and to get started today, check out the post. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. To watch some of our past episodes, click on them right over there.